Hi, welcome to Flower Doodles for Beginners. I'm Angela Tomlinson and I'm a tutor for the WEA up in Newcastle. Today I'm going to show you a really simple flower doodle. So why not grab a cuppa and come and join me? Okay, so for this doodle you will need a pencil, um, an eraser, some fine liner pens. Um, I'm going to use a 0.1 and a 0.3. Um, you don't have to have both, but it's nice to have a really fine pen for detail. Um, and then a sort of medium one for the outlines. The ones I've got are uni pins, but any fine liner will do. Preferably something that doesn't smudge and is waterproof. Because there's nothing worse than smudging your picture at the end. I'm also going to use a gel pen. This one's gold. Um, just to add a tiny little bit of colour at the end to our picture. So, you will want to work in pencil, I'm sure. I'm going to work in pen because I've already sketched it out in pencil. Um, and you'll be able to see the pen better. So. I'm going to start off with my point three and I'm just going to start with the centre flower and I'm going to start with a round dot which I'm just going to colour in and then I'm going to just pull towards me a fairly straight stem and the nice thing about doodling is it doesn't have to be absolutely straight and flowers do have little curves in the stems so that's fine. You'll notice that I'm holding my pen um, way back off the nib so that I can see what I'm doing and I rest my wrist on the table for a little bit of support. Once I've got my stem and my centre dot I'm gonna make a shape like a maybe like a soft V shape either side of the dot. And this is going to be for our first petals. So once we've got those, we're going to go to the top of the petal. I'm going to curve upwards and then down back to the centre. Same on this side, curve up a little bit and then down to the centre. Missed a little bit there. Right, and then in the centre between our petals, we're going to have a tiny little petal as if it's in the background. That's just a little loop at the back. And we're also going to have a little loop at the front going off to the side. Just as if maybe it's been windy and that petal's got blown out a little bit. And then to finish this particular flower, I'm just going to do a nice curvy stamen with a little bit of pollen on the very top. And that's our first flower complete. And the nice thing about doodles is if something doesn't go to plan, you can just adapt your design, make it look part of the design. So the next stem I'm going to curve off to the side and again nice centre dot and same thing again we're going to make a soft kind of V shape either side and then this time instead of looping outwards we're going to loop inwards to create our petals just into the centre and then we're going to have a little loop on the top there to indicate a petal in the background. And then we're going to go to the top of this first petal, curve up down to the centre. Then we're going to go part way down that petal and again curve down to the centre. Part way down that petal and curve down and into the centre. And then we're going to repeat that on this side. So curving down and into the centre. 
and that's our second flower. Now we do want to add a couple of stamens as well. Um, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna use my finer pen for this one. I'm gonna have one coming up from the center. It's a nice dot of pollen. And then I'm gonna put one on either of the side petals and just notice that I'm curving it slightly. It's nice. And then our final flower, which is to the right hand side. I'm gonna start with my center dot. And this time I'm gonna make a shape. It's a little bit like a back to front S kind of a shape. And again, this one's a little bit different. I'm gonna give us myself some guidelines and definitely do this in pencil first. So we're gonna curve out from the dot like that. And then go to the one the other side. Let's do another one. And go to the other side. all the way around so it's a little bit like one of those windmills you get as a child if you're not sure how to um, work out how many sort of little petals to do i always find it easier if you start from the center and do the top and bottom then do two at the sides and then just go between those all the way so try and make one sort of halfway between like that to get a nice round shape and just while i'm working on this larger one i'll show you what i'm going to do next i'm going to go to the end of each little line that we've made I'm going to curve the top and then go to the next line. So curve the top into the next line. Curve the top down to the next line. I'm going to do that all the way around. And don't worry if some are slightly different sizes. It just adds to the charm. And when we've got our nice round flower we can just pop a couple of stamens in there and I'm just going to put three in. I'm going to kind of spread them out, but you can have as many as you like. And that will be the final flower. So let me just show you that on here. So curving and down to the next line. I'm actually going to do one there. That's it. stamens on here so then we've got our cute little flowers and I think it's quite nice just to put a few little sticks kind of getting smaller as they move away from the flowers just to represent a little bit of grass and then just to finish it off I'm going to add a tiny little butterfly and to do that I'm going to give myself a line which is going to be the body. I'm going to just put a little curve either side. So it's the shape of a, I suppose, like a little seed. Pop a little head on there and some antenna. And then I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to draw the wings on just as if I was drawing a heart. So I'm going to put one side of the heart there the other side there. And I've got a nice little butterfly and you can add you could add a lot of flower or a pattern on the wings. I think I'm just going to put two little dots. And then trailing behind the butterfly I'm just going to do a couple of tiny little dots and maybe a couple in front 
just does it add to add a feeling of movement as if it had maybe just set off flying and that has finished that part so to add some color um, I'm gonna get my gold gel pen and I'm a butterfly I'm just gonna put some little yellow dots and then I'm gonna add color just to this center flower this is such a delicate little picture um, I don't feel as if it needs much and I'm just actually putting two gold lines down the leaves and leaving some white and maybe just one gold line down the center of those ones and that just catches the light nicely the other thing I'm going to do is with my point three pen I'm going to put a little bit of shading on this petal here and I'm going to do that by just actually making that the edge of the petal just on those two petals there a little bit stronger I'm going to do the same thing on the two bottom petals that's me just about done thanks for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more you can check out our full courses at wea.org.uk see you next time